Coach Moda, thank you for taking time to sit down and talk with me. An outstanding start to the 2017 season. Your pride team is currently 2-0 overall, outscoring your opponents 15 to nothing. Very astonishing number there. Talk a little bit about the first week of play for your team. Yeah, uh, you know, those first couple games, Wes, uh, you know, it's always good, you know, to get them in and, you know, start off with a 2 0 start like that. You know, uh, the biggest thing, uh, again, when we have a couple freshmen playing and starting this year for us, and, uh, you know, a lot of them coming off the bench for us as well, we wanted to get those uh, jitters out of the way. Uh, even in our first game versus Warren Wilson, you know, I heard it during warm up, or, you know, I heard it on the way up to the game, and, uh, you know, even right up to before the game started, how they were a little bit nervous in their first college game. So, uh, it's always good to start strong like that, but again, you know, the biggest thing we're looking for is get those nerves out of the way this this weekend. So, no, we're, we're excited with, with the performance so far. I know there's still a lot of things we got to work on, but you know, again, we're extremely excited at overall as a team in general. Well, you started out the season on Saturday with a seven nothing convincing victory over the Owls of Warren Wilson. Freshman play came up big. Uh, seven different players tally goals with four of which coming by way of also having an assist. So very unselfish play early on by such a such a young group of players. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's just our style of play. Where you know uh, if we get an opportunity to isolate defenders on a one v one situation, you know we tell our players to be selfish during that time. But you know uh, Warren Wilson did a really good job of it. And, and Brooklyn College, I would say that with their back line, they were they were well coached on the back side and, and very organized. Where you know, our, our players had opportunity to be selfish, but for the most part, you know, uh, they had to do their job, and, you know, and send the ball in for, for a cross or, or for a pass to the other teammate that, who had a better opportunity. So, yeah, again, I was pleased with the performance on the attacking third, um, you know, uh, but you know, the two things, I, you know, the one thing I would say we should definitely still need to work on with us uh, after seeing both of those games where, uh, you know, that first half. Uh, both games so far, we've started off slow in the first half and, you know, uh, again, as the season progresses, you know uh, we're not, gonna, you know, we're not going to have that opportunity to wait to the second half to try to uh, rebound off of it. So, but again, yeah, uh, again, I was pleased with the unselfish play that my players did, and you know, again, overall, pretty pleased with everything that's going on. Yeah. Well, you mentioned uh, a little bit about Brooklyn College, eight nine victory, Mercedes Fisher with a hat trick along with an assist, strong lane of play on the back line, mm -hmm. uh, really starting to solidify there. But also earlier this week, you traveled up to Hollins. Mm -hmm. Um, and your team actually looked like they came out fast, was up, I think it was 5 nothing in the first 15 minutes. Uh, game uh, was called in the 57th due uh, uh, weather in the area. Talk a little bit about that game. I mean, it's definitely a tough break considering things seem like they were starting to gel. Yeah, you know, going back to what you were saying about Mercedes Fisher, she's uh, having a strong sophomore season. Uh, and I know we talked about this in, in the past, Wes, where uh, we're really excited about how a lot of our sophomores this year have responded. And, you know, they're playing like upperclassmen. You know, a lot of our sophomores this year, they're understanding their ability uh, as well past their years. You know, uh, again, Mercedes is playing like a senior. You know, she, you know, a lot of my sophomores are playing like juniors. So uh, we were hoping that sophomore class would come in as strong as they were last year as a, their freshman group, and they have, and they responded well. So. Uh, yeah, she's off to a good start, you know, along with a lot of players on my team. So, so yeah, yesterday was better. Yesterday was a little bit better for us. We came off a lot, you know, with a better start in the first half. It's something that we're continuing to preach, you know. So we got to come out in those first five, ten minutes, you know, ready to go. We, we can't wait to wake up in the game later, you know, because it may come back and bite us. So, uh, but, no, we were excited about yesterday. You know, uh, we were playing the ball really, really well and uh, keeping possession, things like that. So. Uh, the biggest thing still, West, you know, even after three games, we're still evaluating players. Uh, we still don't know who our 11 are going to be. You know, uh, you know, our defense, again, uh, with the addition to Isabel Cross, who came over from, you know, she was uh, serving her country uh, in, in the Army Reserve. So, you know, uh, she was taking care of that stuff. So you know, we just had her in the last couple weeks. She's come on strong for us in the defensive line as well. So everything's wide open, and, and my players know that, you know, that the competition is wide open right now, so, which is a good thing. Um, but again, it was a good start yesterday. It's been a good start to the season, and you know we hope to continue that momentum. Well, you got three games this upcoming weekend, back to back to back. Mm -hmm. So definitely fatigue could set in. Mm -hmm. But I mean, with with as many players you have, you know yeah. you, you're going to have the opportunity to rest the people. Yeah, you know non-conference play. There's three games this weekend. You know uh, three non-conference opponents. Uh, you know the biggest thing that uh, at least I try to get out of non-conference games is fitness. You know uh, our sports unique. And, you know, with three games back to back, uh, you know, yeah, that is pretty insane when you look at it, you know, especially in our sport. 
but you know, with with our numbers and with the depth we have, that I feel comfortable that you know each player can get you know forty to sixty minutes and still feel comfortable the next game. So um, again, we got at any given time we got six to eight forwards we can sub. You know, you know six to eight center mids and six to eight defenders. So. Uh, you know, which is good. Uh, our depth, and, and I feel comfortable about my players coming off the bench. You know, a lot of them can be starters. Like I said, we, we don't know who's going to start yet once we hit conference play. Um, and that's what that's what non-conference is all about. We're still mixing it up, still trying different things and, and, until you know we hit conference later in September uh, and see who are who's going to be our level, who's going to be our players coming off the bench. So, no, we're excited about this weekend. You know, the more soccer we can play, the more games we can get in, the more film we're able to have on the, on each player, the more evaluation we're we're able to have on everybody. So. Uh, they know, uh, you know, they got to make the most out of their out of their minutes, uh, make the most out of their opportunity because uh, uh, it'll be here before we know it. Well, your three opponents uh, this weekend you've never seen before. They've never seen Greensboro College before. On Friday you take on Christendom College in Front Royal, Virginia. Then Saturday you go up to Notre Dame of Maryland University mm -hmm. and play the Gators there. Mm -hmm. And then Sunday you got Keystone College at Notre Dame of Maryland University. What is it like playing three unique? institutions that you've never seen before and what do you know about your competition going into the weekend? It, exciting from a standpoint like you said we've never played them before you know and you know this is the first time we face each other this is the first time their players and our players have known of each other's schools so you know obviously you want to come out on top and you know make a statement you know from the, so they can remember you <laughs> uh, but the biggest thing is that you know when we look at the rosters um, when we look at the coaches from each three team all three teams uh, will you know, have a different challenge for us. Uh, you know, all three teams have players from different areas, uh, you know, in different regions and around the country in regards to where the coach recruits. You know, all three coaches have their unique style of play. All three coaches have their different formation of play. So again, uh, all three teams will propose a different challenge from us, a uh, different challenge, for, which is good. Uh, you need that, because same thing from our conference. Everybody in our conference is unique and different. So we're excited about that, how you know, it is a quick turnaround. We are playing back to back to back where we don't have a week long or three, four days to prepare for the following team. Uh, we got a, we have a game and then we rest up and we got a game the next day. So, you know, we'll have a scout and a team talk that night before the game. But, you know, that's going to be really, really exciting to see how my team adjusts to three different styles, you know, with, you know, no practice time at all to, to adjust. So, but they need it. They're going to need to adjust on the fly like that. You know, uh, once we hit conference, uh, you know, everybody makes halftime adjustments. You know, different formations, different plays, and things like that. So again, this will be this will be a good test for us this weekend to see, you know, three different styles of play. Well, Coach Moto, thank you so much for your time. Safe travels this weekend. Look forward to talking to you next week. Thank you. Will.